Amazon Prime has released the first teaser trailer for The Wheel of Time, an adaptation of the epic fantasy series of the same name by Robert Jordan. The show follows Morin, played by Rosamund Pike, a member of a group of female magic users named Aes Sedai on her quest to find the latest incarnation of the dragon, a powerful champion prophesied to either save the world or destroy it. Jordan's best-selling series spanned 14 books published between 1990 and 2013, three of which were completed by longtime fan and fantasy author Brandon Sanderson after Jordan's death in 2007. The books are huge and filled with detailed world-building involving hundreds of characters from numerous nations and warring factions, many of whom wield magical powers with distinct rules. The trailer provides a glimpse of that complexity, so we're going to try to break it down and explain what's going on. Spoilers follow for the books and possibly the show. The trailer opens with Nynaeve Almera, played by Zoe Robbins, telling Egwene Alvir, played by Madeline Madden, to be strong before pushing her off a cliff. In the books, Nynaeve is the Wisdom, a healer and leader of women of the farming village of Iman's Field, and Egwene is the daughter of the village's mayor. Both are powerful channelers, able to wield the one power to perform magic. This is Emmons Field, a farming village located in the Two Rivers region of Western Andor. The Eye of the World, the first book in the Wheel of Time series, begins in Emmons Field, and many of the series' most important characters grew up there. Jordan based it in part on the Shire from The Lord of the Rings, which was a huge inspiration on the series in general. The voiceover is reading the first lines of the book. The Wheel of Time turns. Jordan based his cosmology on the cyclical view of time and reincarnation found in Buddhism and Hinduism. These three young men happily sharing a drink are about to have their worlds rocked and become fantasy heroes. They are Perrin Abara, played by Marcus Rutherford, Matt Cawthon, played by Barney Harris, and Rand Thor, played by Joshua Stradowski. All three are Tavarin, people with powerful destinies woven around them by the Wheel of Time. This appears to be Alakir Mandragon, holding the Golden Crane Signet Ring. Alakir was the last of Malkir, a kingdom that fell to the Great Blight, a corrupted wasteland created by the Dark One. The cosmic force of evil is imprisoned, but can still exercise some of his immense power on the world, in part through his many followers, including the monstrous forces known as the Shadow Spawn. Before Malkir fell, Alakir passed his ring to his son, Lan Mandragoran, and sent him away to safety. Egwene rises from the water streaked with paint in the colors of the factions of the Aes Sedai known as Aja. While almost all Aes Sedai join one of these groups, Egwene actually never does due to plot reasons. She is instead considered to be part of all of them. Aes Sedai go through a trial in which they confront fears from their past, present, and future. This scene could represent that, with paint showing her unusual future within the organization. Three representatives from each Aja are chosen to sit in the Hall of the Tower, the central council of Aes Sedai responsible for making policies and exercising the will of their leader, the Amirlin Seat. While Aes Sedai in the books are just described as wearing shawls indicating the color of their Aja, the show seems to have been more aggressive in color coding for your convenience. Academy Award nominee Sophie Okaneto plays Swan Sanche, the Amerlin Seat who was originally a member of the Blue Aja. She's good friends with Moraine and works with her to try to find the Dragon Reborn. This is the city of Tar Valon, and the volcanic mountain in the background is the Dragon Mount. Both the volcano and the island where the city was built were created during the breaking of the world, a cataclysm caused by the male Aes Sedai going insane after the Dark One tainted their power source. The tallest building in the city is the White Tower, which was built after the breaking to house and train female Aes Sedai. Moraine Damadred is a member of the Blue Aja, who dedicate themselves to righteous causes and generally saving the world. She's seen here wearing the blue shawl that indicates her faction and the Great Serpent Ring given to all Aes Sedai. The Ouroboros, a snake biting its own tail, is a symbol of eternity and is also the logo of the show. Sadar, the female half of the One Power, is described as a river of power, and Aes Sedai must surrender to its flow in order to channel. Egwene floating in a river is likely part of her training to use her abilities. A member of the Green Aja, the warriors of the Aes Sedai, heals a nasty injury on Moraine. Channelers produce a white glow when using their power. Ever since the breaking of the world, men who channel eventually become mentally unstable. The Red Aja is tasked with finding male channelers and either killing or stilling them, permanently cutting them off from the ability to access the One Power. Priyanka Bose plays Alana Mosvani, a green Aja who first appears in the second book in the series, The Great Hunt. The first season of Amazon's show will be drawing plot points and characters from both The Eye of the World and The Great Hunt. At her side is Ivan, Emmanuel Imani, one of her two warders. 
Bodyguards magically bonded to an Aes Sedai who gain enhanced physical abilities and the power to detect Shadow Spawn. Most Aes Sedai have one warder, but Green Aja often have multiple ones, while Red have none at all. During the Eye of the World, Matt picks up a ruby-hilted dagger in the cursed city of Shadar Lagoth. The dagger makes him both physically sick and paranoid and can also quickly kill anyone cut by it. Perrin is a wolf brother, able to physically communicate with wolves. Soon after he discovers this ability, his eyes change from brown to yellow and he gains enhanced senses. Rand's childhood best friend, Egwene, is Rand's primary love interest in the early books. They seem to be sharing an intimate moment while camping at Shadar Lagoth, where they fled an army chasing them from Emmons Field. Lan becomes Moraine's warder and accompanies her on her quest to find the Dragon Reborn and protect him from the Dark One. He's played by Daniel Henney. Loghain Ablar, Alvaro Morte, is a male channeler who declares himself to be the Dragon Reborn. He is captured by the Aes Sedai and brought to the White Tower. The last battle, also called Tarman Gaidan, is a prophesied apocalyptic confrontation between the Dark One and the Dragon Reborn. Its outcome will determine the fate of the world. While we don't get a particularly clear look at them, this is an army of Trollocs, vicious creatures that fuse aspects of men and beasts. They serve the Dark One. Mirdral are a type of shadow spawn that have no eyes but can actually see very well. They command Trollocs and are extremely capable fighters themselves. Moraine channels an immense amount of power to protect Emmons Field. The lanterns hanging everywhere are a part of the celebration of Winter Night, which marks the end of winter. Moraine, Lan, and five residents of Emmons Field set out after this battle and begin their epic adventures. That's everything we spotted in the trailer. Amazon's The Wheel of Time premieres on November 19th. Are you looking forward to the show? Have any questions about the trailer? Let us know in the comments and be sure to subscribe to IGN wherever you like to watch.